Hey Aries, welcome to your reading. Guys, this is our weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. I'm pretty sure I got the dates right. Let's see who's coming your way and what energy they are bringing towards you. Guys, our uh, talisman this week is lunar, doing lunar magic. Think of when you want to answer for something, you can use that talisman for prophetic dreams to get answers and clarity on things. And it's also used for lunar magic. Just remember, when you put your wish out there, I always say, so mode it be, or so it be. Make it final. Let's see the energies. Let's get spirit to chime in here. Energies headed towards my Aries this week. Pop first one out. Be bold and make the first move. You got Cardinal Moon. Mm. You making the first move on something. There's something else. Hang on. Let's see, there it is. It's on the bottom. Ooh, gonna get more than one. Mm hmm. Emotions are running high. A super moon. Keep emotions in control. Don't. Making the first move does not mean being triggered, guys. <laughs> Just remember that. Adjustments are required. A third quarter moon. Mm hmm. Ooh, don't get over emotional and react from tr from emotional triggers on something. But do be the first to respond. Yes. Yes. Let's see what else. See what else Spirit wants to bring out for you. And there will be adjustments, guys, with that uh, third quarter moon. That means you've got something to work with and some adjustments need to be made. Whether that's... <laughs> In your own way of thinking and feeling or putting someone else in their place. Mm -hmm. You've got infinite possibilities. You are on the right path. Favorable energies are guiding you at this time. Yes. I love that. You're on the right path. But you'll be able to be making some adjustments. Mm -hmm. Be the first. Be the lead. Let's see your person's energy. Can we pinpoint my Aries person? What's the energy coming in at them? What are they bringing? Let's see what's coming out. Pop. Mm. Ooh, they may be trying to flatter you. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. That's our maiden and crone, guys. With that one, it's like if someone makes you feel good, it's an indication this person does make you feel good. They know how to flatter you a little bit, but there's a side of you, like the crone side of you going, mm-hmm, I ain't falling for it. But it is nice. It makes you feel good. Yes. So, somebody's coming at you with some flattery. Let's get a little bit more on them. Let's go one more here. Okay. Their energy. Aries person's energy. Where are we at? Pop. Got a queen of wands. They're definitely going to put on a show for you. But you've got their full attention. With that one, they are focused in on you. But... But they also are going to try to flatter you, to lead you this week. Mm -hmm. You might you be the first one, but don't get triggered, guys, because they are trying uh, definitely to make you feel good for a reason. There's motives behind it. Let's see their thoughts on you. Moon card. They can't read your energy right now. With that moon card... Mm -hmm. You, but you also be a little leery of them. You'd be like, I don't know. Ooh, what, what's real here? <clears throat> Can I believe anything they say? You're mysterious to them. Feelings. Six pentacles. Ooh, they, mm, with that one, they definitely want to give time and attention. And they also feel like you're a very charitable person that you will give them um, t a little bit of time and attention. What else? King of Cups. They see you as very emotionally mature and stable. Mm hmm Why are they being foolish and coming at you with such flattery? What's going on? Let's see the energy they think you're standing in this week. Their perception of that energy. You as an emperor. <laughs> you is standing in your 
your masculine energy of, I'll get, yeah, I'll listen. But that don't mean I'm going along with you. What we'll just flipped out? Judgment. Ooh. Guys, they're trying to change your mind about something. Mm-hmm. Big time. Let's see their um, actions and intentions. Actions, intentions. Got a five of pentacles. They've been holding back. There's a lack mentality. Missed opportunity. Nine of cups. Wishes when it comes to uh, getting a oppor another opportunity. Put it that way. The five of pentacles. What else? A temperance. They're coming at us tiptoeing, but they are taking chances with us. Because like I said, they're coming at you wanting to flatter you. Which doesn't really go over well for them. Makes you feel good though. <laughs> but you'd be like, in your emperor energy, uh, mm -mm, ain't falling for it. Empress energy, they're trying, they're definitely trying to get you to see something about them. They want to shine. Like I said, they want center stage and want your full attention on them. Hmm. But they're cautious about it. Let's see some more here. Strength card. It's, it, they're being brave about it. Yes. Oh, okay. Tell me more about on the strength card. Because y'all know the strength card is about boundaries and uh, energetic understanding of each other. Even though it's, you know, being brave and bold about things. Let's see what else is coming out. Ten of Cups. Here, this person is going to be coming at you with uh, a lot of wish, my wish fulfillment that kind of thing of you're my ten of cups this will make me really happy that kind of thing mm. tell me more of what this is about what this is about four ones yes wow four ones is a milestone that's about uh stepping up leveling up in a connection um Supporting each other in the connection. It also incorporates friends, family, and tribe. So this person is definitely wanting to level up on what? The Seven of Wands. Hold on. Explain. Five of Cups. Regrets. I've got some regrets. Hold on. Seven of Pentacles wanting to work through work through something, patience to work through something. Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, Cancer energy uh, coming in. They may be trying to pull on your heartstrings with that um, Queen of Cups energy, and we're giving ear to them. Hope they're hoping you'll listen to them. Uh, our little Page of Swords is always like, "Huh? What'd you say?" <laughs> My, but most definitely, this person has got some kind of regrets. They, uh, The fact that we got a Five of Pentacles and a Five of Cups. They may have just experienced some kind of tangible loss on something. Uh, they feel pressured, guys, for some reason. Uh, the fact that this one come out to clarify on my Four of Wands. Four, four of Wands, like I said, it's about supporting each other, growing together building together a stable foundation but for some reason they feel pressured into it pressured guys i don't know what the pressure is other than my brain and what my guides are giving me is popping me straight back to the fives that i'm picking up the sorting through uh, despair separation conflict loss think of fives somebody experiencing all that and they feel pressured uh and hoping that what what did they give you the six six of pentacles seven of pentacles they really feel confident that you will give them be charitable towards them now whether they're coming in asking for money or something tangible or just um uh, attention emotional mental support that kind of thing but just know there's a reason a motive to it because they feel pressured backed into a corner things are coming at me things that are bigger than me is coming at me uh, somebody get on my side that kind of thing so yeah and but there's with the seven of pentacles guys it's patience it's uh, investing time and energy to nurture something to get what you want to get the fruit of what you're wanting but it's there's also the uh 
<clears throat> frustration of wanting some, something to happen quicker. <laughs> When we're standing at a seven of pentacles, of, you know, so, and like, like I said, don't know, don't know what it is, but they're coming at you with flattery. They're going to pull, try to pull on your heart swing, strings, swings. Yeah, we might have swings on that heart, but I mean, they're, they're coming at you with energy and, and what's, what's. What I like is you see it. You see it coming. They make you feel good. They're saying things that are, fl you know, flattering, makes you feel good. But it's not enough to actually move you. Mm -hmm. Not have you drunk in illusions about the person and what you're seeing. Because you are seeing it clearly. Mm, okay. But they will definitely be wanting something. And they think you will... Uh, be able to provide whatever that charity card six of pentacles is representing like i said it could be just you know time energy or they could be asking you for something tangible let's see your thoughts about this person by the end of the week tower you epiphany <laughs> Tower is like, oh, divine intervention, moving it out of the way, and your feelings towards them is that they're sneaky and strategic. Uh-huh. Not quite authentic. What else? King of Pentacles, and you see them as extremely stubborn and self-centered. It would be in the shadow side since uh, we're coming in on that tower in the Seven of Swords. Uh, it throws the shadow onto a Taurus, King of Pentacles energy of stubborn, self-centered, out for self, just looking for security. Uh, not following the heart, following the material side of life, the security of life. And we got the Creatrix, which is the Magician on the bottom of the deck. And it will also go and put a shadow onto the Magician of, yeah, Manipulative. Yeah. Okay. Let's see your past attitudes and thoughts about this person from the past. At least you're still seeing things really clear, guys. I love this, whoever the person is. I mean, and like I said, they do. I mean, they do make you feel a little, you know, good. They, they know how to say something that makes you feel good, but not enough to move you out of sensibility. Let's see your past. Attitude and thoughts on this per person. That one doesn't want to let go of me. I'm good. Are you, though? <laughs> oh, and guys, what's sticking out? Stop insulting my intelligence and stop trying to mack me. I see you. I like you. You can cut this shit now. Mm -hmm. You know this person. I mean, even from the past, you know they perform. They perform. <laughs> yes, they do. But you're not giving away. Mm-hmm. No, nope, you're not. The what was it? What did we get up here? Emotions are running high. They may trigger you on an emotional level though. Those emotions don't necessarily mean, you know, agitated kind of energy. It can sometimes be the the oh the maiden. Oh, oh they're making me feel really good. But it's not enough to move you. Mm -mm. Let's get on to put the energy on the deck and give you a quick message ahead of time. Let's see if they want to come down on the deck. It's my Aries. Aries. Oh, butterflies. Lights out of the deck. Transformation. Ooh, okay. Talk to his pop. No one makes me feel the way you do. I really want to make love to you. All I want is you just as you are. Take a chance. <laughs> Give me a chance. And please help me. Please help me. That's the true energy they're coming at you with this week. Please help me. Aries, I hope it was helpful, guys. I'm sending y'all love and light. Bless be.